because I'm in my room. Wait, what? Hey guys, what's up? Today I'm doing another video, something a little bit different than what I usually do. Sometimes I do challenges, unboxings, usually unboxings. Um, and I have some special boxes coming up, so yeah, subscribe. But today I'm gonna be doing a comparison video. So yeah, the, I got two cubes the other day because I heard really great things about both of them. And those cubes were the MF3 RS 3M and the Yushin Little Magic. So let's get started and get right into this comparison. Okay, so the way we're gonna do this is I'm just gonna start off with the little things, like the small things that you can easily notice. So the first thing I noticed with the MF3 RS 3M was when I got it, it was in this beautiful packaging and it looks beautiful. So yeah, when you open it up, like the stickers, you can see that kind of right there. And the stickers, that's really cool. And then when you open up the box, you get this sort of stuff inside, some really cool accessories and the cube came in there with wrap on it, which looks really cool for me. And the box is very nice and beautiful. The cube came in at a price of $14.99 and it turns really great. This cube turns really good and it has a very medium magnet that don't, they're not the strongest and they're not the weakest. This is the mechanism inside the puzzle. For the Yushin Little Magic, the cube comes and it is a very fast turning cube. And it's, yeah, it's very speedy. It has no magnets inside of it unless you get it uh, made with supernova or cosmic and they will put in magnets or you can put in magnets of your own. But it turns really nicely and it came in at a price of five dollars or four something on speedcubeshop.com and then the mechanism is just a blue sort of core so it turns really good and i really enjoy this cube and when you solve it it gives you a really nice and enjoyable solve here's the packaging that the cube came in came in a package that looked like this so it wasn't as fancy it was just a little sort of paper cardboard and the box open it and just throw it it's no, no no big deal when i first opened the box um i have an unboxing on this cube and the mf3 rs3m you should go watch that when i first opened it i said that it felt really really cheap because on the outside when you first feel it, it feels like the stickers are coming out too much and it feels like this is a really cheap terrible cube and then i got into first turns and that is when i realized this could be a main speed cube someone's main. This is a really great puzzle and it turns really nicely and it's very smooth. So yeah, the looks on these cubes, the stickers. So for this, the stickers are very, as I said, a little bit rough on the outside. So they don't really have any, they don't have any extra textures, but they look really nice. For the MF3 RS3M, it's stickerless, but there you can get it in stickers, but I got it in stickerless and the stickers, the sticker of the shades look really nice. I enjoy each color, and usually I don't like the red or the yellow, but this one seems to, I, I, I'm okay with this one. The red isn't the best, but I really like the colors. So it's up to you which cube you prefer, but in my opinion, um, they're both really good. If I had to pick one on turning, since this one is so much more expensive, I could see why it would have a nicer turning. This one is way more smooth than each piece, sort of clicks into place which is really nice and with this one they don't click into place but it's really smooth it's like smooth but since it feels really like cheap plastic it hits on the sides which makes a sort of rough sounding turning but it's very smooth and if i had to prefer two i would say that this would be my main and this would probably be my backup main if that were the case so that is it for this comparison video these cubes are really nice and smooth and i definitely uh, recommend getting them i will leave a link in the description down below if for each of these puzzles and yeah thank you for watching this video and i'll see you all whenever i make another video bye